morning. I hope you're having some fun today. Um, I've got a request from a student asking me to show how to make uh, appliances like this. So we're going to make this little stove or something like that. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to start with a little box on the ground, three feet by three feet. Um, you can, of course, be more accurate with inches and things like that if you'd like to. I'm then just going to use push-pull to pull that up three feet also. So now I've got a nice little cube there. Um, that's the easy part. You want to add in some smart things like I want to put um, um, the backsplash across the back where the little clock goes and the dials and things like that. So I'm just going to use my tool like this to draw on the back. I'll show you a couple of things. I think most of the stuff you can probably figure out. Um, push pull to grab that and pull that up. It comes up, I think it's 10 inches. If I just type 10, it says automatically yes. Um, right now it looks pretty boxy, but as you know, that typically leans back like this one. So what I can do is grab that front edge with my tool. You see, I just got the blue edge lit up, and then I can grab my move tool and push that back and decide how far I want that to go back. Maybe I want that to go back like three inches. And then I can set that angle the way I want it to. Um, a couple of other things that you might see on this that are kind of cool. I'm sure you can figure out how to draw the dials and pull those out, how you can put that on there. But let me show you how to make these rounded corners and also how to make that handle. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm just going to put on the front of this thing I could measure in to make sure that it's correct, but I'm just going to go quickly. I'm just going to put a um, rectangle on the front there, and I'm going to use this two-point arc tool. Again, I could measure in from the sides, but click on the corners. you got to do three clicks. Um, each one I'm establishing where it starts, I'm establishing where it ends, and then I'm establishing the curve itself to get those things in there. So if I put that together, and then like that, and like that, and then like that. Now what I've got are spaces here that I can get rid of. So you can see how I can get rid of all those little bits. Oops, I don't want to get rid of the curve. I want to keep the curve. I'm getting rid of the extra stuff that's sticking out there on the outside. Don't throw away the whole face of the stove. Anyway, you get the idea there. And then, of course, what I can do with push-pull is grab that shape, push it in, say, one inch, and then I can fill that with um, a kind of a dark glass, and I can see inside the stove. Last thing I want to show you is how to make that handle. I'm going to use my, again, two-point arc tool. Say I want to put my handle right here from here to here. Establish the outer points first, and the third point gives you a chance to say where is that in space. I want that to be on the red axis. I want it to be coming out from the front of the stove. There it is there. So I click there and say now I've got a handle. You can see it's poking out from the front of the stove. Still doesn't look like a handle. Now what I'm going to do is grab a circle, click on the end point there, make it a fairly small, and maybe I'll zoom in a little bit so I can get some more accuracy here. There we go. So now what I've done is established a curve and the diameter of the handle that I want to create. Go to your push-pull tool, click Follow Me. Now pick the, just use your arrow tool to pick that line. And then with the follow me tool, say, put that circle on that line. Isn't that sweet? Hopefully you think that's kind of cool as well. That's a quick lesson on how to make an appliance. Send me notes for more videos. Bye.